just real quick. Just chop it up really, really quick. Um, Deontay Wilder, known for his power, he is a one of a kind dude. You know, um, not many boxers can get that far with just a, a basic, a low skill set. Because let's be honest, he really. He doesn't have the fundamentals. Of, to me, he doesn't have the the basic. He's not good at the fundamentals of boxing, as far as I'm concerned. But he's very strong, very fast. I've never seen a heavyweight that is that tall, that lean, you know, and that fit. It's amazing to see. But what he lacks in his skill set, I guess, has been getting him far enough with that power, with that right hand. He has pretty much, he has good power in his left hand as well. But the right hand is the one that everybody, you know, really, excuse the lighting. Shit happens every time I'm in a damn car, man. Every time I start a video, this shit happens. But anyway, that's better. Or something like that. He, uh, you know, he's gotten far. He, uh, a very, uh, what, a 10, 11 fight, uh, streak, uh, win streak defense of his belt. 10, 10 fight defense and won them all. And then, you know, he, he comes across Tyson Fury, gets a draw. And, um, God damn it. Yeah, he gets a draw against Tyson Fury, and then he gets a loss against Tyson Fury. But he didn't just lose, he got beat up. You know, and I'm not going to get into the whole, I'm not going to get into the in, this whole thing with the gloves and all this other mess. Because this is how I see it. A lot of people say he's cheating. If, if Tyson Fury gloves was altered or tampered with, whatever, I don't see it like everybody else see it. I see it like this. Suppose his gloves was tampered. Fuck it. You a warrior. You in that ring fighting. If you didn't, it, shit. Back in the days, they didn't even have gloves on. They were fighting with no gloves. They was bare knuckle. That's how I see it. Shit, man. He had it. If his gloves was altered, then they was fucking altered. That's just where I see it, man. Hey, fuck it. Get in there next time. Elbow the motherfucker. Elbow Tyson Fury. If y'all, it looks like a fight might not ever happen, but not gonna get into that. But shit, throw an elbow, some sneaky little elbow in there. Fuck it. Elbow is fucking side, something, whatever. It's a fight. Like Tyson said, I agree with him when he was asked. Remember a long time ago when he was like, he was on Channel 9 News New York and he was and being interviewed. And it was like, hey, Mike, how do you how do you think this fight is going to go? I, I think it was what, I think it was the fight with Holyfield. I'm not sure what fight it was, it was a while ago. If Mike was like, it's a fight, I don't know. So whatever happens, happens. That's how I see fights, man. Now, it's different if the fighter had loaded, the, you know, put shit in his gloves, like, or altered the wraps, like, you know, uh, Margarito. That might be a little bit different. Maybe. But like I said, in all, in all in all, this is glad to eat a sports, dog. If the motherfucker didn't have brass knuckles, then why even bitch about it? I know it's rules and shit, but I mean rules rules broken all the time, bro. Shit, the same people that make the rules in boxing break their own fucking rules. You know what I'm saying? So he lived through it. He fought, but he was beaten bad in that fight, bro. He was being pretty bad in that fight. So the question is, is Deontay Wilder damaged goods? Cause we know like sometimes when boxers, man, when they so used to winning. Knocking everybody out. Look what look at Tyson, man. He was knocking out everybody, and he t you know he, he ended up fighting Buster Douglas. He didn't really train for that fight, and then he lost. He got knocked out. He never was the same again. That much. He, you know he was doing. He knocked a couple of people out after, but he was never the same again. He was never the same Mike. And you know Deontay Wilder, man. He was just so used to. Knocking out everybody. And let's be let's be honest. A lot of the, a lot of his fighters, 
they were like low to mid tier fighters, most of them. Until maybe he got to maybe what? St Stavern was maybe a mid mid tier fighter in my opinion. He didn't fight really anybody with, with that much substance, man. Until maybe he got to like Luis Ortiz. Which I think Luis Ortiz is, is maybe like a, a I, w I would call him as far as the heavyweights go. He's he's a. I wouldn't call him an elite. I would call him a high uh, 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 a high tier fighter. And then Tyson Fury, in my opinion, I think Tyson Fury is more is, is an elite fighter. He has the skills. I have never seen somebody move around like that to be that damn big. He has the skills. Um, he don't really you know. I don't want to get into the power too much. But he has the skill set, footwork, all that. And he's an elite fighter. He, he's, he's, a, he's an elite fighter. That's what it is. Much better fighter than Wilder. That's that's the truth. A lot of people don't like hearing it. The fanboys don't like hearing it. But it is what it is. So it's yet to be seen. If he's damaged goods, will he ever be the same? He's supposed to be fighting Charles Martin. That's a power puncher. Maybe the most hardest hitter that he ever faced. We shall see. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. You've been watching Rebel Life Boxing. That's better. Oh, my bad. I know it's still recording. Peace out.